Hello, this is Dr. Ford Brewer with uh, state-of-the-art preventive medicine, um, prevention of heart attack, stroke, and cancer, the three big killers of the baby boomers. Uh, today I'm going to talk about MTHFR. I'm almost hesitant to, to wade into that battle. It's a hot topic. Um, you see a lot of interesting headlines and information around it. Uh, like this one, for example, on one side of the fence saying that um, it's wiping out the and overpowering the medical system. Well, I don't actually believe that. And in fact, this doc goes on to say in, in his foreword that he was a cosmetic uh, surgeon who found out he could make a lot of money doing speaking on hot topics like this. And he's offering his information to other docs. Um, I didn't read the rest of the book. On the other side of that debate, you see uh, some of the, the standard uh, guys saying dubious MTHFR genetic mutation testing. So, uh, well, and in fact, there's, a, there's, a, there's more. There's a lot more. I tried to look up this group. I'm a bad mother for dot com. Uh, I couldn't find a real group. It may exist out there. If you guys are out there, please let me know. I'd be interested. Um, but n maybe not a whole lot. Um, as you'll see as I go through the rest of this discussion. What is in MTHFR? Um, it stands for methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase. And if you want me to say that uh, three times real fast... Um, I'm not going to. Um, <clears throat> it's a, it, there is a gene variation. In fact, there are multiple variations associated with genes that are involved with methylation. Methylation is very much involved in anything from um, vitamin and uh, amino protein metabolism to just NADP, the uh, tricyclic. Uh, uh, cycle and uh, energy development and uh, oxidative phosphorylation. Again, you don't need to remember any of that other than just to know that methylation is a very important uh, activity. But <clears throat> when folks talk about MTHFR, they're really more focused on this uh, metabolic pathway. Methionine is an essential amino acid. We can't make it, so we get it in our diet. Um, we use that MTHFR um, and vitamin B12 to uh, take it to homocysteine. Vitamin B6 then to cystathione and then vitamin B6 down to cysteine. Um, if we get stuck in this area, we can get uh, an increase in homocysteine. There are actually a couple of different levels of it. One of them is homocysteinuria. Homocysteinuria ha it is a significant disease and it does have a significant increase in risk for stroke. Uh, homocysteinemia, which is um, a lighter form uh, of a, and a related type of disease, is not really associated with those risks, at least in, as, in terms of uh, clear and incontrovertible scientific evidence. Um, so how about MTHFR? Well, what's become clear is that there are significant variations in the genes that are involved in methylation and in this process resulting in anywhere from 20 to 80 uh, percent variation in performance. Now the thing is though, um, linking these to disease, um, you will see this linked to um, headache, depression, um, birth defects, anything and everything you could imagine, at least in the uh, non-scientific literature. In terms of actual science supporting that, it's not so strong. So, <clears throat> uh, what are my recommendations? What do I do about it? 
Well, again, I'm a preventive medicine doc, so a lot of people equate that with uh, fun what's called functional medicine or integrative medicine uh, out in the community. And, and I see a group of, um, of non, uh, in, it's a non-insurance type of practice. So I see a lot of people that expect me to get way deep into some of the integrative and um, uh, functional medicine uh, activities. So I have to learn this. Uh, I um, have had several patients wanting this test, and I do offer it. Um, I don't think there's enough evidence to say it's uh, not real. On the other hand, let's read the standards that have been uh, made out there, and let's talk about standards, how they're made, and whether these need to be uh, rejected. The American Heart Association, no recommendation for screening either homocysteine or uh, MTHFR gene. Um, and again, as I mentioned before, homocysteinuria has clearly been related to strokes. It's just that there's not a uh, significant treatment that, uh, that is paired with that at this point. For, uh, th and this is either pre or post stroke. Um, again, it's really more of a practical matter than anything else. Uh, American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology and the American College of uh, Medical Genetics, same thing. They don't have any recommendations for screening. Now, <clears throat> a minute ago I said there are some standards that I don't agree with. Very clearly, for example, I don't agree with the uh, current sta ADA standard for diagnosis of diabetes. It is way too little, way too late. Uh, we have entire generations of people, the baby boomers, burning up their arteries right now, not knowing it, because they're walking around with blood glucose levels of 150 and 160 and 180 uh, for a couple of hours every time they eat. Now, <clears throat> that standard should be reviewed and rewritten. I'm not convinced yet, though, that these standards about MTHFR should be. Now, Again, pardon me for, for sound, maybe sounding like I'm speaking out of both sides of my mouth. Does that mean that I would not test for it and I would not recommend treatment? Um, again, I've had plenty of patients ask for it. Many of them expect it. I've tested plenty of times. Uh, do I recommend treatment? The treatment's uh, fairly simple. I mean, it's, it's sort of like what we used to think about vitamin D. Pardon the light here. Maybe that helps. It's just... Um, Maybe sometimes the treatment is easier than going through the testing and worrying about whether you've got the problem. Uh, just take the supplement. Uh, in, and what are the supplements for these? It's, uh, it's called um, supplemented or improved or bioavailable uh, vitamin D12, folate, cyanocobalamin, 5-MTHFR. That means it's Meth it's uh, MTHFR methylated on the five, uh, number five carbon atom. So, <clears throat> again, um, would I say don't do any of this? No, I wouldn't. Would I say that there's a lot more heat than there is light around this debate? Oh, yes.